good afternoon. Good afternoon. I am honorary past potentate Donald Hamilton out of Kinder Temple number 62, and I welcome you to our selection show. My co host Hi, everybody. Hello, and good afternoon, everyone. I am Honorary Past Imperial Commander Latanya Burkhalter, and it is my pleasure, Donald, to be here with you. I hail from Naval Court number one, two, and three, Oasis of Atlanta, Desert of Georgia. How are you, my dear brother? I'm doing just well, good, just well. Good. Good. One of the entire viewing you'll know we had this five dollar marathon which is requesting five dollars it's five dollar marathon and you know last selection we actually selected cop and state yes so yes. you should have to the end of the month please donate 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 remember oh, yeah. five dollars yes it's great to be back for this amazing initiative my dear yes. brother we are always always doing great things with this department and one of our latest and greatest accomplishments you guys is that we are sponsoring the most worshipful prince hall grand lodge of new jersey's hbcu college tour that's right and our special guests will come on later and give us more information about that but as always, Donald, what's the big thing? You can help by continuing to support this initiative, like the one I just mentioned, and help our beloved HBCUs by donating through our QR code. There you go for you, you to go. access. It's easy. All you got to do is scan it, follow the directions, donate to the HBCU department. Remember, no amount is too small or too large. All donations goes directly to the universities or colleges that selected. Yay. Yes, I got five on it. I got five really on it. Five dollars, y'all. That's yes, all we yes, have. Yes. Five dollars. Hey. While we're doing, I want to shout out my doggone Mighty Rattlers. You know, fam, you oh, in the house. Are them snakes in the grass, them snakes in the grass. Wait a minute. Hold up. Panther Paws, Panther Paws. <laughs> Clark Atlanta University. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, then. Go ahead. <laughs> One of the interactive parts of this show, you guys, is that we like to get our audience excited and involved with our Rep Your HBCU segment. So what we would like for y'all to do right now is to start dropping your HBCUs in the chat for us, whether you're on YouTube, Facebook, StreamYard, just start dropping them in now. We're going to shout you out later on in the show. All yes, right, yes, Donald, yes. what you have coming up for us next? Well, you know, today we got our special guest in the house. Yes, we got yes. our first guest is going to be Dr. Josiah Sampson, Proverbs of Tougaloo College. Provost, yes, the Provost. Keep going. Uh -huh. Hey, good morning, then, good morning, good morning. How is everyone? Sampson, thank you for joining us. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Tougaloo College is in the house. Everyone, uh, you should be standing at attention when Tougaloo comes in the room. <laughs> that is the expectation anytime the elite e eagles of Tougaloo College come in. But look, let me say uh, thank you for having us. We, we are, are peacock proud, Christmas morning, yeah. happy, and Juneteenth excited to be on the show today. All right. Thank All you right. for joining us. Next, we have Dr. Lamario's, Lamario Primus the AVP of Student and Financial Services from Morehouse College. Mm -hmm. He's joining us today. Hey, Dr. Primus. Hey, good afternoon. Thank you all for having us. I represent the Morehouse College, what we call the incubator of Black excellence. So we definitely thank you all for coming in this afternoon and definitely thank you all for having me. Hey, you sent up represent. Ooh, welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> the next special guest we will have is Honorary Pass Imperial Potentate Eddie Davis who is the most wishful Prince Hall of Grand Lodge of North New Jersey, excuse me. Um, he's out of Khufu Temple. He's going to be doing the HBCU college tour. Yes, he's the college well, tour coordinator. Yes, good afternoon, everybody. First of all, thank you for having us on um, the most wishful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of New Jersey on this show. Um, and on behalf of the most wishful Clive Horton, Grand Master, we say thank you for the sponsorship. And we yes. look forward to um, partnering with you in the future. All right, we happy to, right. happy to do that. And last but not least, you guys, we have the most important part of our show. We have a student with us today, Mr. Malik Grantham, who is 
from North Carolina Central University. Hey, Malik. Hey, oh, he repping already, some. oh, he already some. Oh, he repping something already. <laughs> yes, yes. Of course. And? Okay. Well, hey, remember, this is $5 marathon. Yes, Tie your shoes up, get ready to run. No little bit amount is too little. We need that. We need that five on it. Come five on, on, on it. I got five on it. Hey, y'all got me dancing and singing already. <laughs> yes, and remember, donating is very easy. You can donate by scanning the QR code. Follow the directions to give to the HBCU department. My famous motto, no amount is too small or too big. But right now, we're just saying drop us five. Drop a smile. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, another interactive part of this show that we want to share with you guys that we're going to ask all of our audience members to participate in is a HBCU trivia. We're going to see who is really HBCU. Okay. So that's coming up shortly. And we're going to show the winners and the people and those of you that answer correctly. No wrong answers. We know all no y'all gonna get it right. Y'all gonna get it right. <laughs> Thinking caps on. <laughs> also, what we got coming up there, Latanya? We gonna do what? It's what time? Rep your HBCU time. Come on, let's go. HBCU. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Homa Community College. Hampton University checking in. Checking in. All right, all right. Boo like to see. <laughs> oh, Homa Community College. <laughs> Hampton Shout out to Benedict College checking in. Benedict. <laughs> All right. And that was our first Rep Your HBCU segment. Drop them in for us, you guys. We're going to come back. We're going to come back again. Keep dropping them. All right. We're going to go ahead and start with our first guest. All right. All right. We're going to go ahead and start with our first guest. Our first guest is Dr. Josiah Sampson. Yes. Good morning. Good morning once again. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Give us a little bit of brief introduction of yourself. Let us know what you do. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, hey, on, on behalf of our president, Dr. Donzel Lee, uh, we want to bring you greetings from Tougaloo College, this land of green grass and blue skies where the moss hangs low and the eagles fly high. Here at Tougaloo College, I serve as the provost and vice president for academic affairs. What that means is I am uh, the chief academic officer. I'm responsible for all of the academic programs of the, of the college, but I'm also responsible for uh, many of the day-to-day -day operations, especially in the absence of the president, uh, um, if it happens, I'm responsible. Yes. So I always say if it, if it happened right, my team did it. And if it's wrong, it's my fault. Yes, but sir. we, we push the envelope here for Tougaloo College to improve in our excellence every day. All right. That's good. You are the next in charge. You are the man of the academic side of the university. And Absolutely. most of us appreciate Absolutely. everything everything that you guys do in your role. So I have a question for you, um, Dr. Sampson. What advice would you give to a student who is interested in attending a HBCU? Uh, the first thing that I would say is that is the right thing to do. Um, uh, every HBCU is the right place. All you need to do is pick one. The best advice I could get, give you would be to, hey, do, do a little bit of research because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a lot of people don't know is that HBCUs 
um, provide just about every discipline, every academic discipline that you could want. So, yes. you know, and, and I don't I don't have a problem with sharing. Like, for example, if you want to be a pilot, there are HBCUs with aviation programs. Mm -hmm. If you want to be a physician, there are HBCUs with with medical programs. Every HBCU is going to to make sure that they teach um, teach and train you academically, but also get the nurturing that you need to become a well-rounded individual and a productive citizen in society. So the best decision that you could make is an HBCU. It worked for me. It worked for my children. It worked for my parents. Like that is that is HBCUs are responsible for the black middle class. So this this is. Um, the, the number one best decision that you can make. And if you don't know, ask somebody and we'd be glad to put, point you in the right direction. Yes, yes. Well, thank you, okay. thank you for that. Uh, my question, what sets Tougaloo College apart from other HBCUs? Ah. Oh, bless his name. <laughs> let me, let me give it to you real quick. So, <laughs> Um, I, I could brag and say that, you know, not only are we twice as good as every other school as evidence that the school physically lies in two counties, Hines County and Madison County in Mississippi. Uh, we have not one, but two mascots that the Eagles for academics and the Bulldogs for athletics. But I could give you the hard data, which shows that, hey, Tougaloo College is responsible for 45 percent of the black physicians in the state of Mississippi. And then, this, uh, um, and then when we look at pound for pound, round for round, we produce more black physicians than than any school in this region. Uh, not only that, our second best, most popular program mm -hmm. is in um, pre-law, political science. We have students literally all over the country from, from the White House all the way to your local capital that are, that are practicing in, in political science. So we, we are teaching and training, but also we're giving you the pragmatic, the practical skills so that you can leave here and instantly be successful anywhere. Yes. Yeah. Thank right. you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much thank for that. You. Hey, I'm fixing to shoot it out there again. Hey, this is a $5 marathon for the cost of a Coke and a bag of chips. You can sponsor <laughs> somebody going to hbcu we need those donations so we can bless yes. our communities let's go let's go and again that's the qr code for you and they're putting it up on the screen as you see it come up all you got to do is scan it and donate donate five donate. put five on it i dare you i put dare you to put five on it, on it. <laughs> all right um our next guest we have dr lamario premise <laughs> good good afternoon sir good afternoon good afternoon can you let everyone know what it is you do and who you are absolutely so again uh definitely welcome my name uh, is dr lamario primus i serve as the associate vice president of student financial services at morehouse college Everyone knows about Morehouse. If you went to an HBCU or if you just kind of did research on HBCUs, Morehouse College uh, will definitely come up uh, in that conversation. Yeah. So as my uh, responsibility as Associate Vice President of Student Financial Services, I am responsible for uh, two departments. That would be the Office of Financial Aid as well as the Office of Student Accounts. And so we all know for all of our HBCU attendees and graduates, those two are some of the most critical areas uh, for the life of an institution. Uh, I am also responsible for not only uh, the uh, disbursement of federal aid and applying financial aid to student accounts, my office is also responsible for issuing refunds. So we all know uh, and have struggles, I'm sure, at our particular institutions just with how do I receive money? How do I receive scholarships, federal aid? But then when is my refund check coming? So in terms of a day-to-day -day operations, those are my two uh, functional areas for the college. All right. Yes, yes. All money, right. Money. The Morehouse, where the infamous who? <laughs> the King. Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes, Absolutely. Home of Dr. Martin Luther King. So I have a question for you, Dr. Primus. What sure. has been the toughest challenge in your role at Morehouse thus far? Oh, I will say my first one would be really just figuring out the best way to uh, educate parents as well as students about, number one, the cost of uh, any education at any of our HBCUs. Uh, a lot of times we come into 
uh, the decision to attend HBCUs uh, uh, more like a reactionary uh, mm -hmm. from a reactionary perspective. What mm -hmm. I'm trying to do and what uh, my institution is trying to do is how can we get in front of ninth and 10th graders to say, you know, here's what your options are. If you choose to come to an uh, institution like Morehouse College, here's the cost. And so from a parent's perspective, what can we do to begin to prepare? What are the financial options uh, that are available to us to be more in a financial position so that we can financially uh, support uh, our children's future at these illustrious HBCUs? And one of the things, again, if we start that proactive measure, what we start to see is the decrease of federal student loans. Yes. As we all know, some of us uh, didn't have the opportunity of getting full rides at our HBCUs. So as a result of that, some of us went into student loan debt, which we see we have a high amount of African-Americans that are tied to student loan debt. And so if we start those proactive measures prior to making a decision to attend any of our HBCUs, yes. that will definitely decrease uh, our student loan debt uh, moving forward. Well, thank you for that. You gave us a pretty good definition of financial woos. Um, I'm going to ask you the same question. Uh, what sets your college university apart from other colleges and universities? Uh, well, 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 well I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to battle with Dr. Sells. And so what I, what I will definitely say is Morehouse College is uh, the tip of the spear in terms of, again, black male excellence. Morehouse College, founded in 1867, is really one of those institutions, or the only institution, if you will, that is focused on the achievement of African-American males. Okay. And so if you look at uh, a lot of the prominent civil rights activists, Dr. Martin Luther King, and, and, and so on and so forth, we have really set forth a lot of the groundwork for uh, the HBCUs and what we stand for uh, for our communities. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you that, thank go you ahead. Much. That's a Morehouse man right there. That, that <laughs> Let's go, Latanya. You know, we all right. All right, all right everybody. It's trivia time. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's see who is really, really HBCU. Let's see. We got, we're going to ask a couple of questions for the audience to answer and um, IMR is going to help us out, uh, out by putting the answers on the screen. First question. Let me see who go get this right. Which college both men, which okay. college or university was the first HBCU in North Carolina? Let's see what answers we get. Answer in the chat, wherever you are. For please, us. please Let's answer. See. I wonder who go get this right. Dr. Samson smiling because we just. <laughs> <laughs> what college or university was the first HBCU in North Carolina? Now, we know somebody out there know. Somebody the answer. got to have the answer. It's, it's somebody that knows. They somebody just need to got share. to know the answer to this question. Nobody no knows the answer. Somebody got it. Look, there, there are some bears out there that know the answer. <laughs> <laughs> no answer gotta be some bears out there there are no answers all right, all right go ahead all give right. me an answer. the answer to that question is shaw university yes yeah, yeah. Shaw university all righty cool cool <laughs> next question next question what hbcu uh -huh. who who played the first black college football game who okay. played in the first college black football game? That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. That that's kind of tough, but but somebody yes, might. Yes, it's yes. Like I got faith it's, in somebody. Football heads out there. Who played in the first black college football game? Let's go. I, I know we have some people watching can answer these questions. Mm -hmm. Do 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 do. do, do. Do, 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 I can't say do, 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 do. All right. Uh -oh. we, we got one that say, hey, we got hey. J.C. Smith. Yeah. Yes. And who yes. else? Who was and with who them? Else? Who did they play? Do, 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 who did they play? Who was do, their opponents? Do, do, the first do, do, black college football do, game. Do, do, do. All right. They were close. They got half of it. Yeah, they got half of it. It was it was who Donald? 
John JC. C. Smith versus Livingston College. Yes, yes. Y'all was thinking, yes. y'all was thinking, got halfway there. <laughs> there you go. Dr. Well, thank you, Dad, for Corey <laughs> Parish. Thank you, thank you. All right. And the I last question, last trivia question. Which college both men and women attended until it became exclusively a women's college in 1926? Oh, we know some of y'all were born. I know y'all got to get this right. We talked about this in, in one of the the HBCU shows when we did the, the women's segment, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. We Ooh. got a winner. <laughs> Now that that's was a the YouTube movie. user is yes, Bennett College. There you go. Yes, there you yes, go. yes. Thank you. Thank All you. All right. YouTube user, can you please put your name so we can shout you out? Yes, yes, indeed. So while we going on that one, you know, thank five you. dollars. I only need five dollars for the price of popcorn and a soda. You pay more than that at a movie theater. Five dollars. That's the qr code oh that's joan hamilton that's the mrs hamilton okay <laughs> all right scan the qr code remember we got five dollars we gonna keep it moving with our guests yes yes our next guest we got honorary pass in pure potente eddie davis yes how you doing you. welcome sir welcome good afternoon good afternoon again Hey, introduce yourself. Let everybody know what it is you do and what's going on. Okay. All right. First, I'll switch hats for a little yeah. while. Um, <laughs> and from the honorary pastor, Pill Potentate, to right worshipful Eddie L. Davis Jr. Um, I am the um, HBCU tour coordinator or chairperson for the most worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of New Jersey, Prince Hall Charity Foundation. Um, my main job is to plan, organize, and select students to attend HBCU tours um, within um, the students in the great high school um, mm -hmm. in the state of New Jersey. Um, one of the toughest jobs that I have in relation to that is trying to secure sponsors or donors so that we can afford this opportunity to the students at no cost to the students. Uh, many of the HBCU tours that you see out from the Divine Nine various churches have a cost attached to it. But this particular tour that we do within the state of New Jersey is free of cost to the students. So that's my main job, and I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Yes, yes, yes. So thank you for that. That that's is, why that we're is here. awesome. Good works, good works what you're doing. And 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 like like my my brother said, that's what we're here for. We're here to help you out. But I, I have a question, and I don't know if everybody knows. Um, so now I'm gonna get in your business. <laughs> did you attend a HBCU? I most certainly did. Yeah! Yes. Well, graduate of Tuskegee University in yes. Tuskegee, Alabama. Yes, yes, yes awesome, yes, yes, awesome. Yes. And I also have to put this out there too because I see a lot of um, the um, 1911 our evil twin on here. You know, um, <laughs> I am also traveling with South Black Community Incorporated. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> I see you, Doc. Again, thank you. Thank you for, for that information. Um, we That's what we're here for, folks. $5. Yes. $5. Drop support. your $5. Our next guest. QR our, code. Uh, QR code. QR yes, code. Yes, yes. Again, I got five on it. I got Come five on. on it. Let us know. Get it in. Get it in. It costs <laughs> a popcorn and a movie ticket. Come on. You can support a child. All right, our, our our last guest will be Mr. Malik Grantham. Yeah. The best part of our HBCUs. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good afternoon. You know, this is where your money goes is showing. Yes. Tell us a little bit about yourself and uh what you got uh, going on. Well, um uh, I attend North Carolina Central University. Uh, I'm a sophomore. Uh, I'm majoring in kinesiology. Uh, hopefully, I plan on going into sports psychology. Um, okay. Yeah, that's that's about it. That's about it. That's it. That's all you got. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was about to say. 
What is your you classification? Know, part of the best practice. <laughs> oh Lord, there you go. Yes. No. What's your classification? Sophomore, junior. You said a sophomore, right? I'm a sophomore. Yes, ma'am. You're a sophomore. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, what are some of the factors, male students? If you can answer this, or what are some of the factors you look at, or male students look at when choosing a HBCU? Um. Well, me personally, uh. The factors I looked at, um, I wanted to be close to home, so okay. that was one thing. And um, I would really say the campus, uh, the campus was a big part of my choice because I didn't want to be on a campus too big, and I didn't want to be on a campus that was too small. And Central just felt perfect for me, so okay. that's really that's really how I how I chose. <laughs> Okay, okay. He said he wanted to be close to home. Y'all heard that, right? Y'all. <laughs> you, save your, you save your parents a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Rep, rep, repping that purple and gold. What is, <laughs> what is it about the fraternity that you like most? What attracted you to the purple and gold? Uh, I mean, it's, it's really, I've been around it all my life. Uh, you know, my dad and all my uncles being a part of it. So it was it was really just inevitable. Okay. You you were born Legacy. into it. You were born, born into it. it. Yes, ma'am. Legacy. Yes, That's very right. much so. A legacy. Good so time. once again. Yes, once again, you guys, we are going to ask you all to join us again and participate in this part of the show. Drop your HBCUs. We are going to ask you right now to do that. And guess what? It's rep your HBCU yes, time. Ma'am. Oh, we starting off with Hampton University. There it is, Hampton University Pirates. Hey, Virginia, Virginia State, State University. University. Yes, VSU. Yeah, yeah. All right, VSU. We got Benedict coming in again strong. Winston-Salem State University. All right, Winston-Salem. What? Mike, Alabama, Alabama, State. Alabama State University. Alabama State. Oh, I knew that was going to come in sooner or later, too. <laughs> oh, Lord. Them snakes, them, snakes. them snakes everywhere. <laughs> Savannah State Savannah University State. checking in. All right, Savannah State. Okay, okay. Oh, we getting it. Virginia State. They got to be some more. again. All right. Okay. Greater happens here. Uh-oh. There you go, Malik. We got NCCU and soon to be Fayetteville to fight the mighty Broncos. Representing. Yeah. Ah, what? What? Clark Atlanta <laughs> University. The mighty marching Panthers. There you go. <laughs> Since nobody's representing the HBCUs up north, I want to represent Lincoln University and Cheney State University. That's right. What? They battling over who was the first. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. NCCU. Let's do it. Let's do it. All North right. Carolina. Ah, WSSU and Benedict College. Okay. All right. Uh oh, yes, Bethune down in Florida, Cookman. we got Bethune Cookman. That's what all I'm right, talking about. All right, right. And you guys, that was Rep Your HBCU segment. <laughs> All right. All right. What do you got for us, Latanya? All right. Again, we have our five dollars 
segment we marathon that we run in we want you guys to donate more please by all means do so um scan the qr code that's on the screen drop them five dollars for us of course as my my famous quote no amount is too small or too large no amount yes yes Um, one of the things we want to do is make an announcement we we at the end of our show we at the end of it unfortunately we gotta go it's saturday okay We want to make an announcement. The HBCU department is sponsoring up to 500 students to use the Common Black College app to apply for up to 65 HBCUs at no cost. So if you know any high school seniors that are ready to go to college, talk them into get them to come to go to HBCU. Get them this information, scan the code, click the link. Or whatever is yes, all yes. over Facebook. We're sharing it everywhere. Sharing it. Share it. it. That's a beautiful initiative. Um, and as you know, it's it's time to get ready for the fall. So start it right now. Tugalu College, go there too. I think they're on there also. You can choose them. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, oh and yes. Another special announcement that we want to share with everyone. You know, Imperial Session, we always come through for everybody. Well, this year. We're doing a HBCU homecoming. That's right. A HBCU HBCU homecoming. homecoming on August the 17th from three to five. We're going to have a solid auction. <laughs> We're going to do a stroll off competition from all Greek and non Greek organizations. Anybody who want to participate with yes, only yes. one winner. So bring it on. It's going to be it. interesting. Bring it on, only one winner, regardless of what group it is, okay? And that's going to be for $20. That will go out after this segment. And IMR is going to push that out for us later on. Yes, yes, yes. All righty, folks, $5. We just need those $5. Just a little funky five. Just need that little funky five. All (laughs) right, I want to just, it's that time of day where we got to say thank you. Thank you for everybody that signed on. Yes. You know, I want to give a special thanks to my guests that participated. Yes. We want to give a special, um, matter of fact, Dr. Josiah Sampson, do you have any last words before we go? Hey, not only thank you for being here, to all the people watching, thank you for watching. But hey, support, support, support our HBCUs. We are thank all you. we got. Yes. They are trying yes, to yes. reduce DEI everywhere. Everyone. Support your HBCUs like your life depends on it. Because if it were not for the HBCUs, most of us would not be close to where we are. So support every last one of them. Yes, that's right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Right. Dr. Lamario, promise you have anything you want to say. Yes, sir. Thank you. So again, just thank you guys for having me. Uh, definitely uh, in collaboration with Dr. Samson. Continue to support your HBCUs. We all we got. And I want to say it again for the people in the back. I want to represent my own Nabar Temple, number 128, Oasis of Atlanta, Desert of Georgia. Nabar coming. <laughs> thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for being a part of this. <laughs> now, honorary past and pure potentate, Eddie Davis, do you have any final <laughs> words, sir? Yes. Um, again, thank you so much. And um, on behalf of, again, on behalf of Most Worshipful Clyde Horton, Grandmaster of the Most Worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge of New Jersey, we sincerely thank you for your sponsorship, the most, um, the um, HBCU Department and Imperial Council sponsorship of this tour. This year we will be going to Hampton University and North Carolina Central University. And we are very excited about it and very excited about your sponsorship that you have given us. Thank yes. You so much. Good works. Thank, well, thank you. Thank you, sir. And thank you for the things you do for our youth. Thank you. Uh, last but not least, our student, Malik Grantham. You got any last words you want to yes. start with? Uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you for having me. Um, and I hope everybody has a great rest of their day. And yeah. That's all I got. Appreciate you. <laughs> thank you, Malik. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. And I want to shout out my greatest, greatest co hoster, a oh. lovely voice. Get it, give it up for her. <laughs> and the best and the best host to be on this show with. Oh, yes, the yes, best yes. host ever. 
And our final remarks for this afternoon will be thanks to the IMR department for their support and their fantastic production. We appreciate yes, all that, that you do for us. Kudos, kudos. Thank y'all so much. Don't forget, even after the show, scan, drop them $5. It doesn't stop here. All right. Thank you yes, all yes. so much for Thank joining you. us Thank this you. afternoon. Have a beautiful week. Thank you.